Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar on digital visual management. We're pleased to have with us today Alexis Belanger, who runs the International Development of CES Systems. CES Systems is uh, going to share with you today 30 years of experience supporting uh, more than 14,000 companies with their visual management. Um, as uh, you know, there is a growing interest uh, and opportunities related to digital visual management. So the systems as a manufacturer had also to, um, to explore that and has successfully developed a solution that we wanted to uh, share with you today. So Alexi, thank you for joining us and uh, the floor yeah. is yours. Uh, yeah, thank you. What I will do, so thanks for um, attending this presentation. Uh, just to make a, a short uh, introduction on that. So five minutes, we'll speak about who we are, just to make a, a kind of introduction about us, about also the concept that we are developing around the Lean, Lean Enterprise concept. Uh, we'll speak, of course, about digital visual management. Uh, just before, we'll make a uh, some uh, uh, introduction also about the traditional visual management and uh, we'll finally uh, finish with a demo of the actual solution that we, we, we've been developing since two years and uh, of course if you have any questions about this just let us know. Uh, first of all uh, about the, the let's say the background of CESA systems I won't say I, I won't I will stay focused on the main facts. 30 years experience is what we have uh, for the development of lean manufacturing tools. Uh, 2006, as you can see, uh, progress. This is uh, what will interest you also uh, for the visual management. We have a way to simplify uh, the visual management with simple uh, smileys and pictures and so on. Then uh, in 2017, so we have started developing solution for the industry 4.0 and integration in 2019 uh, of CESA Hub, which is basically the application that will collect uh, data uh, into your different um, softwares and uh, publish this on, uh, on the screens. Uh, we have, uh, so last year developed those new solutions. You will have around those, uh, the software, CESA Hub, uh, different devices, which will allow you to display uh, those information according to the level of information that is required in your company. So I will come back to this later. Um, innovation, total, we have uh, 2,350 products and uh, lots of new products every year. Uh, we work uh, with uh, aluminum profile, which allows us to, uh, let's say, um, have a lot of flexibility with the stations and with the boards. And um, so we manufacture and design almost everything in this catalog. Um, we work with major companies um, so this is a, a list of, of companies we are working with. So I, I imagine that you will recognize some of these companies. So we are ready to equip uh, all industries and uh, of course to accompany those companies in, into international projects. So this is what we do on, the, on a daily basis. Um, we have also an academy available in New York. So if you are around, just let us know and uh, knock the door. You will find a lot of product here displayed available to you. And finally, the visual management strategy in production that will introduce the digital part is uh, uh, first is to know what is the visual management in a, in a very uh, short and clear definition. So we practice visual management every day uh, without noticing. So you have an example of the car on the dashboard, you see clearly what are the, the, the let's say the, the, the good, uh, um, the, the good, um, let's say, things, uh, what things need to be uh, corrected. And so behind it, you have very complicated uh, statistics. Uh, and here with this simple uh, pictogram, so you see immediately what is wrong and what needs to be corrected. Uh, 
So this is basically what is uh, what, what, what's the definition of the visual management is to stay simple and to have a proper understanding of the message uh, at every level. So you have a pyramid and on this pyramid, you find a uh, different communication level. And of course the, the, the goal is to, um, to, um, to, to deliver the customer in, in the best condition. So the communication is a process. Um, the factory gives driving informations. Uh, so it could be your objective to reach, for example, how many pieces you need to produce or what will be the quality level to achieve. Then you will have um, some strategic, tactical and operational information. And as a um, monitoring, then the operators, the machine will give the actual trend and we've give, we've give, the, give the actual result in real time and some information non real time. So this is where digital or visual management will uh, be important to uh, and it will be important to equip the factory with different tools in order to have a complete communication process at every stages. So you have for the operators, the information per hour. So every two or three hours you give uh, the trend. And if something is going wrong, then you, you can see it and react immediately. Communication per day, per week or per month. And in some companies like uh, Valeo, for example, or some others, so it's not possible to start working without having this top five meeting in the morning or uh, every Monday and, uh, and, and every month. So this is just where you are organize yourself, I would say. So you have some traditional way of communication with those boards, so the, those whiteboards at every production line. So you can find those um, whiteboards also, but uh, using, uh, uh, let's say, not a lot of space on the floor because uh, for, for some customer space is also an issue. But we have some communication boards here for different sectors. So, and you can see the trend also is like this. More and more you have uh, the integration and the use of both solutions. Uh, first, the uh, so on the left here, you can see the, the board, the whiteboard, and in the middle, you see the screen where the customer will simply display some real-time information. And he will have an access here to his uh, document for maintenance or for, for different, uh, for different uh, let's say, a document to update. And so the let's say the all fixed information will remain available for for on the on the whiteboard. And communication per month with these uh, larger communication spaces. So how to build a board or how to make uh, a good communication? Uh, so this is just uh, let's say having the right KPIs. I'm sure that you all have uh, existing KPIs available, um, but basically this what this what a, a customer is looking for. Uh, and also you as a buyer, you always want to have quality, the best price, the best lead time, uh, product that respects some safety and environment uh, principles. So um, this is what the, your customer wants to have when they purchase a product in your company. And the visual management here, the definition is to measure, to share information, and of course, to set up a corrective action uh, to progress. Some example about visual management. And after, so we in, now we will go into the digital part of it. So now that you know more about what is visual management and how it could be applied into your company. Uh, now this is the same pyra pyramid, but using uh, devices like a tablet uh, for the operators, for example. So here the person will have a scoreboard and will use um, this uh, tablet to enter, let's say, uh, 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 information every hour. Uh, a board for, or let's say, an uh, e-lean board for the, the team leader for the daily uh, data entry. Uh, the manager could have an e-meeting in order to access 
also uh, to uh, weekly information and e active board so this is a bigger board uh, this is what we find uh, for example in obeya rooms for those who know what is obeya this is a big room full of kpis and um, and uh, visual management um, uh, process let's say complete process and CESA Hub is there. Uh, it's it's like a universal platform that enables the collection of information and the publication of uh, these indicators on the different screens that you have in the companies. So on the Elin board, you can also set up different channel. You can define the first channel for your KPIs, a second channel for the project, for the life of the company. You can access to um, also um, on channel 5 for example the daily information you can display website some videos and so on you can also use the emitting board as you can see on the left uh, this is an example taken from the airbus company uh, which uh, have this board here uh, to access to the maintenance planning and they just update um, they update this information di directly on the screen and uh, this screen is uh, tactical so you you don't have to use keyboard or a mouse for example so here this is tactical so you can write on it you can also uh, modify the the documents and so I won't show you the video, but uh, um, at the end of the presentation, we could share with you some uh, some uh, some video if you want to know more about this uh, emitting uh, system. So now I will go on the um, on the on the Cesarab application. Just give me a minute, please. So you should see now my screen displaying. Uh, a dashboard just let me yeah so you should see my screen and seeing uh, this dashboard so uh, basically I'm directly I mean says a hub now this is the web application um, this web application as you can see is uh, is uh, just a link uh, so there is no let's say there there is no installation uh, this is just just an IP address and here uh, it means that there is no capacity or no installation uh, required for to to, to install it uh, so we this is a web application installed directly on your server and uh, uh, we work on the basic of a Microsoft uh, SQL server which is a, a very familiar to, uh, to to and this is you should you should be equipped uh, with this uh, technology. So this is very uh, le let's say universal. Um, so as you can see, you have nine symbols, and each symbols will allow different functionalities, of course. And the the goal of Cesarb is to provide a complete offer with the dashboard, but also we with an access to the documents, uh, to uh, the diaporama and uh, to the, some training module so this is a complete solution to manage your uh, visual management but also your lean manufacturing projects and everything that concern the um, let's say improvements uh, and uh, lean um, yeah, the, the, the lean project that you will have in in general so below we have uh, several links and that can be programmed um, to your ERP, for example, if you want the person to have an access to your ERP, the website, and, and, and so on. So this is something that you can set up uh, on the screen. So um, about the module presentation now, just to sum up. So you have nine modules and the documents module, meeting, maintenance, project management, continuous improvement and management. Uh, works with the drag and drop system like it's it's like drag and drop so um, we, we you are used to to use uh, word and excel and so on so you will stay you will keep using this uh, this this document your existing document um, and all module with the accession of the the others are working with uh, this uh, drag and drop uh, principle so if i choose this document module for example here i will find a list of uh, several documents 
and um, so basically here as you can see uh, just a moment because I need to uh, reduce the, the this uh, window uh, if an operator needs, needs to have an access to uh, some production notices and instructions so this is directly accessible there uh, on 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 CESA hub then um, if you go back on on the home then you will have an access to the diaporama so I will come back to this a little bit later and you have also a training module which uh, which is a let's say more or less a, um, a, a training part which allows a fast training uh, so for example if you have a new employee in the company then you c and if this person has to complete some training about the five or about ergonomics then he will find all necessary elements to uh, to be trained quickly and uh, and easily directly on this uh, on this module then if I go back on the dashboard uh, module then here you find uh, this is an example so you could have also your on letters directly here so as you can see here there is um, a five letter screen sqcdp so each letter has a as a meaning so here could be s could be safety quality cost deadline and production and for each letter we see how we see that this is a daily subject so we have 30 days in november because each day has to be updated with uh, a specific information. So to, today we are the uh, 90s of uh, November, and so if I want to update this in this this day with the uh, about the quality or about the, the safety, then I have to click uh, one time for green, two time for orange, uh, three time for red, and uh, four time if it if the result is uh, is very bad. So and this is this is here a daily subject. So and if there is something going very bad, so as you can see here, we can put it in red, for example. Um, this we you can associate uh, the action plan linked with this um, this this letter in order to correct this uh, this uh, this indicator. So the reference will be here. So packing sector, uh, there is a and problem uh, with the pilot uh, what action has to be done what's the plan what's the date uh, and after you can check all status so if an action is not fully done then here you can see it also, also visually because the PDCA symbols will not be completely uh, in color uh, if I want to access to more than uh, more information then in this case as you can see uh, here, uh, you have a complete, it's like a big Excel file, I would say, but this, this is digitalized and you can also enter the result uh, directly here. And uh, so if I say, okay, I had 10 accidents here. So the color is directly red because this is over the threshold that we have defined. And uh, according to the threshold that you want to define, then you can uh, see that the color will uh, be different uh, according to the uh, what you have achieved so if the 18th we had zero accident then it will be directly red and of course it will calculate the maximum value the minimum value what what will what what was the date of the maximum the date of the minimum and what is the average value of these uh, indicators so for this example we're working on a five day uh, on a five business day um, the indicator is daily the goal is to have zero accident per day and we have defined this threshold saying that zero is fine and up to between zero and three this is in orange and up to three this will be in in uh, or up to three yes it, it will be in uh, in a red so this is how we can um, configure uh, this uh, this board. Um, some other example. 
uh, if I'm I can I'm able to configure it more than just a board. So if if you have different boards, you are also able to uh, to 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 create your own boards according to your indicators, of course. And also, I will be able to uh, make a, a scoreboard, which is um, the entry of uh, information every hour. So if you have a team of uh, one one team in the morning, one team in the afternoon, and in the night, if you have different uh, shifts, then you can uh, configure it, uh, this um, into the, the scoreboard, which means that every team will enter the results every hours, and at the end of the day, you will have a result for the three teams, and so on. So, uh, of course, you have an access to the statistics, so you can uh, select some uh, indicators and uh, have a real this is just for one day so this is a uh, this is big but of course you can say if it's if it's a uh, the average or if you want to curve so you you can do everything you need here everything you want and of course export those results um, and display those results directly into the the dia diaporama Diaporama allows you to, uh, so you can create, uh, let's say, a playlist. Uh, we have a test here, but I don't have so many data. But basically, here you have an access to your to the list of uh, different documents on your computer, and uh, you download this uh, information into Cesar Hub. And after you, you can also set up the time between each slides you can integrate a video and every indicators uh, from the from the dashboard module and after you show the the the, the diaporama and it will be displayed uh, automatically according to the settings that you have done uh, in the in the diaporama module uh, will be displayed uh, every uh, every hours like this so it it, it will turn itself and be available uh, all days. So this is a global presentation of what could be your indicator uh, on a digital version, I would say. So we could also spend more time on, on a parametering or let's say the setting of these uh, indicators. I, I don't have time to show you all uh, everything we can do but of course if you have any additional questions just let us know and um, so just to finish here this is a way uh, to create a, a board so as you can see I can create more than five and um, a thousand boards I will say uh, this example was taken from the SQCDP board but of course for you if it's different so you can uh, uh, enter a board name and after select different subjects which uh, already exist here from the list or create just create a new one uh, if you say that I want uh, safety indicators uh, then after you can choose the of course the the later and uh, define the legend and also say if it's if it's daily information weekly or monthly communication and you can of course uh, modify the different thresholds and uh, associate the subject with uh, a list of indicators. Jabril, I think that's, uh, that's, that's it for, for me, well, for the moment. If there is any question, I'd be happy to, you, to reply. Yeah, thank you, Alexi. Um, so what, you, what, what you've seen is a uh, digital visual management tool that was developed uh, in-house and uh, that is actually currently used not only within CESA systems for their own manufacturing, uh, but also by uh, a growing number of companies. Thank you very much, Alexi, again, and uh, everyone for joining. We'll uh, yeah. look forward to seeing you again on another webinar. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.